from troublesome up-and-comer to troublesome A-lister. Today we're going to talk about an artist who, love him or hate him, comes very close to living up to his own hype. Living in that 21st century, doing something mean to it, do it better than anybody you ever seen, do it, screams from the haters, got a nice ring to it, I guess every superhero need his thing. This is Watch Mojo's The Story and the Songs. I'm your curator, Rebecca Brayton, and I'm going to take you on the musical journey of Kanye West. Uh huh, honey. What you doing in the club on a Thursday? Now, before we lift off, I just want to let you guys know that we love hearing from you. So, if anything pops into your head favorite lyric, favorite factoid, alternate top 10 just share it in the comments below. Just remember, we're not looking for trouble. Also, this bio was originally published back in 2015. Can't get enough music in your life? Then be sure to head over to Mojo Travels to see some great ways to satisfy both your inner audiophile and your wanderlust with our list of the top 10 music festivals around the world worth traveling to. Click the link below. All right. Let's put this love on lockdown. Here's part one, the story. Kanye Omari West was born on June 8, 1977 in Atlanta, Georgia, and moved to Chicago at the age of three. While producing for local Chicago artists, West dropped out of university to focus on his music career. By 1998, he was already producing for well-known artists such as Jermaine Dupri and Foxy Brown. Although born in Atlanta, Georgia, West grew up in and around Chicago, Illinois, and spent some time living in Nanjing, China. Opportunity came knocking when West started producing for Rockefeller Records in 2000. West ended up handling the majority of production on Jay-Z's acclaimed 2001 record, The Blueprint, an album that spawned one of Jay-Z's most popular singles, Izzo, H-O-V-A. A year later, West made his rap debut on Jay-Z's next album, The Blueprint 2, The Gift and the Curse. Though he initially had trouble signing a record deal, West released his first effort, The College Dropout, on Rockefeller Records. The successful 2004 album generated several singles, including Through the Wire, which was inspired by a 2002 car crash that had almost taken West's life. It also featured his first number one hit, Slow Jams, and the Grammy-winning Jesus Walks. Kanye's influences are not all limited to rap and hip-hop. Bands and artists like U2, Led Zeppelin, Johnny Cash, and Bob Dylan have all shaped his musical sound at some point. God, show me the way because the devil's trying to break me down. In 2005, West released his sophomore effort, Late Registration. With the help of film score composer John Bryan, West constructed another critically and commercially successful album. Late Registration was later nominated for several Grammys, with the songs Gold Digger and Diamonds from Sierra Leone picking up a few of the accolades. While making his first two albums, West also continued producing for artists like Janet Jackson, Brandy, and Twista. While Kanye West is well known for his musical talent, he is just as well known for his sometimes controversial actions. In 2005, while presenting during a Hurricane Katrina relief fundraiser, West accused then-President George W. Bush of racism concerning the slow relief efforts after the disaster. George Bush doesn't care about black people. In 2006, West graced the cover of Rolling Stone magazine wearing a crown of thorns evoking the image of Jesus. That same year, West took to the stage at the MTV Europe Music Awards while Justice and Simeon were being presented the Best Video Award and claimed his video for Touch the Sky merited the prize instead. If I don't win, the award show loses credibility. I appreciate it, man. I pre you know, it's nothing against you. I've never seen your video. It's nothing against you. But hell no, man. I love y'all. West's third album, Graduation, was released on September 11, 2007, to coincide with the release of 50 Cent's third record, Curtis. The much-publicized sales competition that resulted helped to bring West's graduation to the top of the U.S. Billboard 200 chart. Singles from the more introspective album include the Grammy-winning Stronger and Flashing Lights. It was also around this time that West's mother died due to complications from cosmetic surgery. Her death deeply affected the rapper and influenced his actions and career for years to come. Things started to turn around in 2008 at the 50th Annual Grammy Awards when West took home four statues and performed his song Stronger with Daft Punk. Later in the year, West took the Glow in the Dark tour around the world with artists like Rihanna, N.E.R.D. and Nas. 
He debuted his track Love Lockdown on the 2008 MTV Video Music Awards, which would be the first single from his forthcoming album 808s and Heartbreak. This record ended up being quite a departure for West, who decided to sing rather than rap on most tracks. With its use of auto-tune and a more electronically influenced sound, 808s and Heartbreak hit number one. Commenter Brad Smith says, Kanye is musical genius. People constantly call him an ass when he acts out at these music awards, but they don't know he's given his award away to several artists when he thinks they deserved it. West also got into two incidents involving paparazzi in 2008, and the controversy didn't stop there. In 2009, West infamously stole Taylor Swift's thunder as she accepted the Best Female Video Award during the MTV Video Music Awards. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. Kanye's favorite white girl, Scarlett Johansson. And apparently he's also expressed his appreciation for Fiona Apple, whom he holds in a higher regard than Lauryn Hill. 2010 saw the release of West's fifth album, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, with guest appearances by Rihanna, Alicia Keys, Kid Cudi, and more. The record also produced the singles Power and Runaway, a track that was accompanied by a 35-minute short film that served as its music video. Despite the controversies, Kanye West has made quite a mark in hip-hop in a very short time. While he has dabbled in fashion, has his own management and production company, and founded the Kanye West Foundation, it is his ambition and musical experimentation that have made him unique in the music business. Kanye has indicated that one of his fashion icons is Shia LaBeouf. Run away fast as you can. After the success of My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy in 2010, Kanye wasted no time in keeping the ball or beat rolling with his 2011 heavyweight collaboration with Jay-Z entitled Watch the Throne. She said, yeah, can we get married at the mile? Yeah. I said, look, you need to cry for you buy. And that excitement continued to build until the release of Kanye's 2013 album, Yeezus, bringing with it singles like Black Skinhead for my theme song, my leather black jeans song, and Bound 2. This that red cup all on the lawn shit. Get a fresh cut straight out the salon. The Bound 2 music video was met with much controversy, to the surprise of nobody, with most of it stemming from Kim Kardashian's racy role in the video. Uh-huh, honey. After Kimye had a child together, Northwest, in June 2013, the new king of controversy and the queen of reality television wed in May of 2014. Hey, hey, hey yo, we made the Thanksgiving. So, hey, maybe we can make it to Christmas. Demonstrating once again that he can draw attention to himself in any situation, Kanye stole the show at the 57th Annual Grammy Awards. At first, it all looked to be a joke, a callback to his infamous 2009 stage invasion. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. But after the award show... He should have given his award to Beyonce. Commenter Dan Kale says, he may be an outspoken, hated, and controversial figure, but he's one hell of a musician. Kanye fans will be looking forward to more of his media escapades, but musically, things are heating up as well. A 2015 album entitled So Help Me God is on the way, including collaborations with the likes of Beatles legend Paul McCartney. Hello, my only one, just like the morning sun. We never saw that one coming, but say what you will about Kanye, he never ceases to surprise us. So let's get on with it. Don't remember a Yeezy album called So Help Me God? That's because it changed names many times. First to Swish, then to Waves, and finally to The Life of Pablo. Of course, Kanye's accomplished a lot even since we released this biography back in 2015. He's released tons of new music, succeeded with his fashion line, got involved with Tidal, got married, and started a family but he's also gone through even more controversies. Here's his chance to prove he's worth all the controversy in a video we published originally in 2014. Here's part two, the songs.
Uh, Number 10, Through the Wire. I drink a boost for breakfast, an inch of a dessert. Commenter Sack yells, you can't make a top 10 because he has way too many hits and great songs. Somebody order pancakes, I just sip the scissor. The story behind this song is almost mythic in its origins. Telling our son's own life support and just imagine how my girl feel on the plane scared as hell that I got. Created while he had his jaw wired shut following a car accident, Kanye West wrote this song to show Rockefeller he deserved a chance to make his own record. I've been trying to be signed, trying to be a millionaire. How I used two lifelines in the same hospital with Biggie Smalls died. The, the lyrics are deeply personal as he tells listeners of his struggles to be taken seriously as a rapper and his need to create. And he explained the story about how blacks came from glory and what we need to do in a game. Good to bad night, right place. Through the Wire wasn't only innovative, but listeners also responded well to West's ability to tell a coherent story and pack in references over a smooth beat. But I'm a champion. Yeah, so I turn tragedy to triumph. Yeah. Make music that's fire. Yeah. Slip my soul through the wire. Woo. Kanye is famously a college dropout, a move his mother, a university professor, later came to respect. Number nine, can't tell me nothing. I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven. When I woke, I smit that on a necklace. I told God I'll be back in a second. Man, it's so hard not to act reckless. Perhaps one of his grittiest songs, this graduation single serves as an anthem for those who try to rise up above the naysayers. Excuse me, was you saying something? Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. Yeezy is angry as he raps about those who have doubted his success and the inner demons he battles. Let up the suicide doors. This is my life, only you decide yours. Instead of letting self-doubt get the best of him though, he's vicious as he tells his critics to wait and see his greatness. La, 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 I my money. Featuring a melancholy beat, Can't Tell Me Nothing also contains background vocals by Sneaky Sound System's Connie Mitchell. Excuse me, was you saying something? And samples Young Jeezy, both of which give the track an eerie quality. Can't tell me nothing. Uh uh, you can't tell me nothing. Number eight, Heartless. How could you be so heartless? Say what you will about autotune, but Kanye really took the use of it to another level on this pop number by singing in a somber, monotone voice and lamenting the loss of a loved one. And now you wanna give me back and you gon' show me. So you walk around like you don't know me. You got a new friend, well I got homies, but in the end it's still so lonely. And even though it shouldn't work, it does. And there's something strangely addictive about this song. Everything about Heartless is at odds. How could you be so heartless? Oh, how could Yeezy's tone is robotic, yet filled with emotion. Talking, 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 talk. Baby, let's just knock it off. The beat sounds like it should be a club banger, but the lyrics are about a breakup. It's also one of the best selling digital singles ever. Seven, flashing lights. She don't believe in shooting stars, but she believe in shoes and cars. Wood floors in the new apartment. Cool tour from the store's department. This song has grandness to it, which is a quality that Kanye has perfected in his music over the years. She in the mirror dancing so sleazy. I get a call like, where are you, Yeezy? By referring to the camera flashes of the paparazzi, he created a song that aptly described the addictive quality of celebrity culture and how it can corrupt people and relationships. I call, I know you love to show off. But I never thought that you would take it this far. He raps over a chilled out, synth driven beat that gives flashing lights a sexy, glamorous vibe. Of my memories, museum, I'm just saying, hey, Mona Lisa, come home. You know you can't roam As without season. The electronic meets RB feel of the graduation tune is also a sound he's continued to curate over time and makes the track one of the album's highlights. What do I know? Flashing 
Number six, All Falls Down. This soul-influenced hip-hop number is one of the best demonstrations of Kanye's skills as a storyteller. She's so self-conscious. She has no idea what she's doing in college. That major that she majored and don't make no money. But she won't drop out of parents to look at her funny. He tells the story of a young woman obsessed with unrealistic images of beauty and excessive wealth. Sophomore three years ain't picked a career. She like, get I'll just stay down her and do it. Cause that's enough money to buy her a few pairs and new pairs. Cause of baby daddy. Don't really the chorus is the heart of All Falls Down and is filled with emotion and undeniable sadness about what unattainable goals can do to a person. Single black female addicted to retail as well. Uh. And when it falls down, who you gonna call now? Come on, come on. And when it all falls down. It was a far cry from other rap songs on the radio, thereby marking his originality and Kanye's first top 10 hit in the US. And when it falls down, who you gonna call now? Yo, Selena, you just like a safe belt. You saved my life. Number five, Diamonds from Sierra Leone. Throw your diamonds in the sky if you feel the vibe. This track serves as Kanye's come up tale, in which he describes signing with Rockefeller Records and his perceived ego. So somebody still speak from his son and wasn't changed by the change or the game or the fame. When he came in the game, he made his own lane. He asks listeners to show their loyalty to him and the label. After debris settles and the dust gets swept off, Big K pick up where Young Hove left off. Meanwhile, his sampling of the James Bond theme song from Diamonds Are Forever gives the late registration single an almost ethereal throwback quality. While Diamonds from Sierra Leone took home the Grammy for Best Rap Song, its music video and the remix added a broader message about buying conflict-free diamonds. Four, gold digger. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke, broke. Arguably his most well-known song, this track has taken on an almost anthemic quality. Cutie the bomb, met her at a beauty salon with a baby Louis Vuitton under her underarm. She said, I could tell you rock, I could tell by your charm. Fars girls, you gotta flock, I could tell by your charm. It was everywhere when it first came out, and it's still a crowd pleaser at big events, even weddings, strangely enough. My best friend said she used to f with Usher. I don't care what none of y'all say, I still love her. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger, uh, but she ain't messing with no broke, broke. Sampling Ray Charles' I Got a Woman, Kanye creates an exemplary tale about being leery of those who only want money. If you ain't no punk, holla, we want prenup, we want prenup, yeah. With guest vocals by Jamie Foxx, Gold Digger held the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100's chart, won him a Grammy, and has become one of his best selling singles. Get down, girl, go ahead, get down. Get down, girl, go ahead, get down. Get down, girl, go ahead. Let me hear that back. Three, stronger. Let's get lost tonight. You could be my black Kate Moss tonight. Play secretary on the ball tonight. Sampling Daft Punk is always a good start. Awesome the Christian and Christian Dior. Damn, they don't make them like this anymore. On this single, Kanye takes a sample of the French house duo's harder, better, faster, stronger, and builds on its futuristic sound. You should be honored by my lateness that I would even show up to this place. So go ahead, go nuts, go ace. With lyrics inspired by a well-known Friedrich Nietzsche quotation, the hip-hop number gives Kanye his personal mantra for his pursuit of women and power. This song is the ultimate earworm. It's catchy, fast-paced, and sounds out of this world. And let's not forget his inventive rhyming of Apollonia and Isotoners. You know how long I've been on ya, since Prince was on Apollonia, since OJ had Isotoners, don't act like I never told ya.
Daft Punk is an obvious Kanye sample. You know what isn't? The Broadway musical Wicked. Even so, Mr. West has used samples from Wicked, but that music remains unreleased. Number two, Runaway. And I always find, yeah, I always find something wrong. Heartbreaking from start to finish, this is one of Yeezy's more personal tracks. Baby, I got a plan. Run away fast as you can. To find pictures in my email. I sent this girl a picture of my hey. Sonically, it's different from his other songs because of its use of piano riffs mixed with various samples and a memorable guest spot by Pusha T. 24-7-365, she still stays on my mind. I, 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 I did it, all right, all right, I admit it. Runaway's album version stretches over the course of nine minutes, giving listeners the chance to hear Kanye ruminate over his unsuccessful relationships as well as his troubled times with fame and the press. always find something wrong. You've been putting up with my shit just way too long. Kanye was so inspired by the My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy track that it was accompanied by several short films of various lengths. So I think it's time for us to have a toast. Let's have a toast for the douchebags. Let's have a toast for the assholes. Let's have a toast for the scumbags. Every one of them that I know. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Lights, cop lights, flashlights, spotlights, strobe lights, street lights, all of the lights, all of the lights. 50 told me, go ahead, switch the style up, and if they hate them, let them hate and watch the money pile up. The good life, come for mine, I got to shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky. I'm doing 500, I'm out of control, but there's nowhere to go, and there's no way to slow. If I knew what I knew in the past, I would have been like that on your ass. No one man should have all that power. The clock's ticking, I just count the hours. Stop tripping, I'm tripping off the power. Everybody got the game figured out all wrong. I guess you never know what you got till it's gone. I guess that's why I'm here and I can't come back home. And guess when I heard that, when I was back home. We're at war with terrorism, racism. Most of all, we are number one, Jesus walks. God, show me the way because the devil's trying to break me down. Commenter Fat says, You forgot lift yourself. Kanye may have moved on to comparing himself to God, but throughout the course of his career, he always showed he wasn't afraid to rap about touchy subjects like religion. I ain't here to argue about his facial features, but here to convert atheists into believers. I'm just trying to say the way school need teachers, the way Catholic need to read just that's the way I need Jesus. The production Jesus Walks is gorgeous and features West rapping in an increasingly frantic tone as he proclaims his faith against an ominous beat. Won't get played, huh? Complimented by a soaring chorus with backing vocals that sample the ARC choir's Walk With Me. Next time I'm in the club, everybody's screaming out. The college dropout single was a top 20 smash and earned him a Grammy for best rap song. The only thing that I pray is that my feet don't fail me now. Yeah. And you say, Shy City. Shy City, Shy City. Coming home again. Now, before you start asking, how could you forget this song or that song? Don't worry, we have a second list of Kanye West songs, or as we like to call it, another top 10 Kanye West songs. But even so, share what you think we missed, rank it how you think it should have been ranked, and let the friendly debates begin. She said, excuse me, little homie, I know you don't know me, but my name is Wendy and I like to... If you love Kanye as much as Kanye loves Kanye, good news! We've got plenty of Kanye-related videos for you. From the top 10 best Kanye West music videos, to top 10 times Kanye West took us by surprise, and even a top 10 reasons Kanye West is hated. I mean, we don't hate him, we just heard talk that there are those who do. But before you go fire up your 808, let me ask you this. Do you ever just get, like, irrationally jealous of Kanye West? <laughs> All right. Until next time, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and this is the story in the songs. This is why last winter she got so cold on me. She said, yeah, keep making that, keep making that platinum and gold for me." Do you agree with our picks? 
check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.